Hi everyone, and welcome to another Boom, it's Saturday. Okay, today I'm pouring over an old painting that I thought was absolutely hideous in the end. So yeah, I am doing a Boom uh, swipe and a scoop and drag. Um, if you check out Winterstrom Arts, uh, I'll put her link in the comments below. She is absolutely the master of this technique and it's thanks to her very, very informal videos that I was able to uh, start trying this. So, yeah, anyway, my base is an unknown mixture of uh, scrapings from, uh, from a previous painting. It's got a really nice... Um, a uh, nice color in my opinion and also a sheen there were some metallics in this mix and i was quite lucky that there was no uh, uh, no mud uh, happening there so what i'm doing here i've got my palette knife and i'm just laying down some uh, cell activator which is uh, two parts uh, australian floatrol and one part amsterdam um, oxide black and next goes on a little um, line of um, Willy Wagtail Black. And uh, according to uh, Jessica from um, Winterstrom Arts, it really sort of enhances the uh, selling lacing effects. Okay, and two colors, just two colors I'm using. And they are both uh, boom, um, bespoke boom colors. And you can get those from um, uh, mixed according to your own preference. And uh, yeah, I'll put the link to uh, uh, Cassie's Boom channel and the website in the description box below as well. Both these colors have um, a little bit of um, interference or sort of a color shift effect. So they come out real, real nice. Okay, and then... You just uh, drag your palette knife across, just carefully, not to go too deep, too deep into the paint. And then you just repeat the same, or I repeat it the same on the uh, on the other side. However, before I move on to the other side, um, I thought there wasn't enough color show in there. Really, you can only see the sort of tealy. Uh, color uh, on the swipe. So I'm just doing uh, the uh, same side again uh, with the exact same uh, exact same technique. So first the uh, cell activator, then a little bit of the Willy Wagtail black, and then two lines of the custom bespoke colors on the on the palette knife. Okay. And yeah, what I'll do now is uh, I'll just let you enjoy the video. I'll put some music on for you and I'll probably speed up the video at some point because this is uh, taking a, a fairly long time to do. So enjoy the video and enjoy the music.
Okay, here we have the final web results. Sorry about the glare of the phone on there. Um, yeah, I was really, really pleased with this, but you could probably tell that I was uh, struggling a little bit. This was only my second attempt at a scoop and drag, but I do love the way those um, uh, boom gels uh, came out. But let me show you the uh, dried results next. So here's the dried result. Uh, sorry, it's so dark. It's so dark in Finland in the winter that you've got to have the lights on all the time. Now, I love what happened with the um, line side sort of pulled across the uh, base here. The metallics, uh, surprisingly enough, uh, the lines show in the dried result. I was quite surprised about that. Um, now, for the boom, there isn't all that much colour, but I love those small, subtle colour splashes there. And overall, I just really, really love the composition and the results. And especially for my uh, second try at this technique, I'm very pleased. But I'd love to hear what you think. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and leave me a comment and a like. Thanks ever so much for joining me today. Bye-bye.